Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. It's me again. Now we are going to look at another topic under reading which is summarizing. Right. What is summarizing? Summarizing is how we take larger selections of text and reduce them to smaller pieces. Summarizing is a powerful reading strategy. It increases comprehension and remembering of information. So in summarizing, you need to find the main ideas and also the supporting details of the text. It is similar to paraphrasing as it includes rewriting the original text using different vocabulary and structure. But there are uh, differences uh, between paraphrasing and summarizing. So now we are going to look at um, just a simple explanation about paraphrasing and summarizing. So both paraphrasing and summarizing change the sentence structure of the original text and both also change the vocabulary of the original text. For paraphrasing, it keeps all the details from the original text. And a paraphrase is often similar length as the original text. While for summarizing, it uses only the important ideas in the original text. And a summary is significantly shorter than the original text. So as you can see the illustration um, below. So for, uh, for paraphrasing, is that the length from the original text with the revised one are similar. And for summarizing, the revised version is much shorter than the original text. Right. So, what do we do when we summarize? The first thing is keeping. So, we need to keep only the important information and main ideas. We keep the keywords and phrases that will still tell someone about what you have read. And the second one, you delete. You remove the supporting details, extra words, examples, and also statistics if available. And the third one is paraphrasing or you use your own word. Okay, how to summarize? The first thing that you should do is to read the original passage and understand it. So this is an um, example of the reading passage. Let's read together. The number of overweight children is predicted to rise significantly around the world by the end of the decade. Research conducted in 25 countries has concluded that almost every country showed significant increases in childhood obesity. Almost 50% of children in the U.S., Canada, and Latin America will be overweight by 2020. Scientists believe this will mean that healthcare services will be seriously affected in the future. Many obese children will become obese adults, which will result in many of them suffering from heart disease, stroke, and other work-related ailments. So after you have read the passage and you have understood it, try to find the uh, try to get the main idea of it, and then you identify the key point or points or the main idea of it, and also the supported detail, for example the statistics and also the examples given. <coughs> Alright, so we have identified the two key points in the reading passage. The first one is the number of overweight children is predicted to rise significantly around the world by the end of the decade. And the second one is healthcare services will be seriously affected in the future. So, so these are the two key points um, identified and the rest would be the supporting details which you are not going to use it in your summary. Okay, so from the key points, you need to identify and write down 
the shared language and also details from the original text. So the shared language or the repeated word used in the reading text is um, are obese and children. And the details that you have taken from the original text but you rewrite it uh, using different words are um, increase cost problems and medical services. So from there, you need to write your own summary. Okay, so this is uh, the first one is the first draft of your summary. The increasing number of obese children will cause problems to medical services. So this is um, the first one, the first summary that you have come out with. So you may want to revise the um, version as you wanted to have a better version of it and also you would like to add up a um, few words to make it uh, your own version. Okay, so the revised version. The increasing number of obese children worldwide will cause serious problems to medical services. So here we add worldwide and serious um, in the sentence. Right? Okay, common mistake in summarizing. The first one is writing down everything. So, um, those who are doing the summer, uh, summary tend to write down everything. So summer, uh, summarizing is not about writing um, word to word. You are not copying word, uh, word from word because summarizing is only uh, to get the main idea from the original text. And the second one is not reading the whole article. So, or uh, you are reading it in a quickly manner. So you maybe you are not going to get the right main idea from the reading text. Right. And the third one, writing way too much. So uh, sometimes uh, there are... Uh, in doing the summar, uh, summarizing, people include the example and also the statistics or maybe they add um, a new idea into the uh, summary. So you do not need to do that as summarizing is only um, taking the main idea but you are writing it in your own uh, word. All right, and then the last one is not right enough. So aside from writing way too much, there are also who's uh, writing too short without in, uh, without including uh, the main idea that you should put. So when people read your summary, so they might get um, confused or. They do not get the idea of what you are trying to say. Right? So, I think that's all for summarizing. Do not forget to do the practice um, as you may want to have a better understanding on how to do the summarizing. So, I think that's all. Thank you.